654, time for the morning sprint. Police say they have two people of interest in custody in Madison's first homicide of the year. It happened yesterday afternoon, a block from the Capitol, just outside of the Dane County Jail. A man in his mid-30s is dead. Officers aren't calling the two people in custody suspects quite yet. We are expecting more information during a press conference scheduled for today. Police say they have taken a suspect into custody over the January shooting at Beloit Memorial High School. On January 29th, 19-year-old Jayon Broomfield was shot in the parking lot after a basketball game. The whereabouts of the shooter went unknown until this week. More on the investigation up right now on Channel3000.com. A man is in the hospital this morning with potentially life-threatening injuries after being stabbed in Monona on Westgate Road. Police say they have one person in custody on a parole violation. That investigation is ongoing. The White House says President Biden will deliver remarks today on efforts to cut gas prices. They've been surging since the war on Ukraine began. According to reports, the president could announce plans to release up to a million barrels of oil a day from the nation's strategic petroleum reserve. World Cup, here we come. Last night, the U.S. men's national team clinching their spot in the 2022 event happening this November in Qatar. In a tweet last night, the team wrote they've been waiting eight years to get back to the biggest sporting event in the world. Last night, they actually fell short against Costa Rica, 2-0, to zero, but they had enough other wins for them to qualify. President Biden urging Congress to approve tens of billions of dollars in new COVID funding. He said the lack of funding could mean the administration wouldn't have enough vaccine supply to provide boosters in the fall. The administration also launching a new website, COVID.gov. It's a one-stop online resource for information about vaccines, tests, treatments and masks. We continue to track that snow outside this morning. I want to take a moment to look at some of the cameras that we have around town here. We're starting with the camera here at the station. The snow is coming down downtown as well, and our temperature is at 31 degrees. I am seeing some of that snow accumulate on pavement, but most of our roadways are just wet at this point. Still use some caution. We're going to continue to keep that snow around for the next couple of hours before it winds down. Temperatures are around the freezing point. We'll top out around 35 as we start to move towards the afternoon and know that while you're dealing with slick spots now, we will start to see that improvement by the time you're headed home for your evening commute. All right, Chris Reese, thank you very much. Thanks for joining us, folks. Stay tuned all day long for updates to your first worn weather.